Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, good afternoon, uh, Padma Shri, Dr. Mile sir, to have graced the occasion. Uh, good afternoon, uh, beloved uh, Dr. Gopal Swami and Dr. Hari Priya, madam, and Dr. Prashant, and advisor Dr. Mr. Narayanan, and uh, people from the press and my dear colleagues. So I would like, first of all, to thank everybody for giving me this opportunity. Uh, Dr. Mail Wagner Natarajan sir and his father are instrumental in getting the Department of Orthopedics in Tamil Nadu, not only Chennai, in Tamil Nadu to what it is today. We will not be, all of us, all we junior orthopedicians, we will not be what we are today without they playing a direct or an indirect role. So whatever they have taught, either through them or through their teachers, we have all learned the art and we are standing here today. So it is indeed an honor that, uh, and, uh, and only apt that he is unveiling the robot today. Now it is up to us to not only give the patients the very precise knee that this robot is going to promise, but also to take the baton from him, such a big legend, and add technology to it, and carry it forward and teaching the next generation of orthopedicians. So this, this will be um, a great honor, and uh, we are not going to stop with this. Uh, medicine is going to grow, robots are going to grow, they are going to get more technical, but we will share our bit of knowledge to the next generation so that this is carried forward. So IPL is on, and we are all talking about the dream team for CSK, but here we have a dream family here. So I, I don't know whom to praise and whom not to. So, our MD of the hospital, Dr. Gopal Swami, and Dr. Uh, Chairperson, Dr. Geeta Haripriya. Thank you, sir, and thank you, madam, for giving me this opportunity and providing us with this robot to take our patient care to the next level and making a mark in the orthopedic fraternity, not only in Chennai, but in Tamil Nadu as well. This is the first of its kind, Veli's robot from Depew Johnson & Johnson, and the first of its kind in Chennai. And it is going to give us the ability to make a precise and robotic knee replacement. So this is the next level. And this is the last that is there. And uh, this robot has been launched so far only in four countries, India being the fourth country. And uh, I think we are one of the earliest. In fact, uh, uh, we have just started talking about uh, robot. And uh, it is less than a month. So our director, Prashant, Chinna Puli. So I was just speaking to him about this, uh, about this robot a month back, and uh, we are here unveiling it. And uh, the fast and uh, uh, super initiative that they have taken, uh, taken to you know, encourage the department per se uh, is, is phenomenal, and that's why we have such the latest uh, robot in our hospital in such a short span of time. So it is indeed a great honor, and I'm sure our colleague uh, orthopedicians the, whom we have here, Dr. Chukalingam sir, Dr. Raj Kanna, Dr. T.V. Prasad, everybody is going to use it and going to share the benefits to the patients. So I am I'm here talking on behalf of them, and I thank everybody for giving me this opportunity to do so. And uh, uh, why this robot? So osteoarthritis is a very major problem. Uh, one in 10 patients of, uh, over the age of uh, 60 are suffering with osteoarthritis. And slowly it is going to reduce to one in six. So one in six over the age of 60 are going to suffer with osteoarthritis. So if you're talk, looking at our population, it is going to run into millions. So the volume of uh, replacements that we surgeons are going to do is going to keep on increasing. So not only that, we are, we are seeing very young patients coming with osteoarthritis. Nowadays, I'm operating on patients who are in their late 40s and early 50s. So here, their demands are much, much higher than what an ordinary 65 or a 70-year-old will require. 70-year-old requirements may be just to walk or, uh, uh, or just go to the bathroom and come back without pain and uh, live with dignity. But if it is a 45-year-old, he will want to play sports, he will want to run, he will want to jog, and he will want to do anything and everything, ride on a bike and do everything possible. So with, for that, we need beautiful prosthesis. And not only prosthesis, we require uh, the precise placement of the prosthesis. So, so to get it as precise as possible, close to 100% of what we are planning, 
uh, this robot is going to be helpful and it is going to take us to the next level. <coughs> so uh, to get the processes fine, uh, we have uh, the companies working towards a good processes. We have the Attune uh, Johnson & Johnson implant, which we have been using. This has got a J curve facility, wherein the range is going to be much, much higher. And to have the best kind of metals, the companies have involved the scientists and uh, people from the Boeing and Airbus to work on the metallurgy on these implants. And uh, we have vitamin E uh, coated e polyethylene, which help, uh, help these implants last much, much longer. So, so much of work is going to, uh, has gone into getting the perfect kind of implant. So the companies have worked hard to get the implant, which is like precise for each and every knee, which is going to give a beautiful movement, uh, movement for that patient. And it is, it is upon us surgeons. What role we have to play? We have to place it properly. So far, we have been using jigs, which uh, you know, uh, give us more or less precise uh, uh, placement of the implant, but not taking into consideration the muscle tone or the ligaments that are there, depending upon how stiff the ligaments are. Here, the robot takes everything into consideration. It produces a three-dimensional picture of the knee that we are operating. That particular knee, three-dimensional picture is, is on the screen. And we are placing, embossing the metal implant that we choose over, that, uh, over the bone. And we can adjust it, a two-degree flexion or an extension or internal external rotation. A one, two-degree rotation is not possible. However good I am, however many surgeries I have done, one to two degrees is not humanly possible. That is possible only with a robot. So with, with that kind of precision, if we place the implant, it is going to last forever and ever. So the range of movements is going to be good, the patients are going to be happy, and it is going to last for a very, very long time. Recently, one of my patients was asking, uh, he was asking, uh, I am, do I mean, my father was operated the seventh today. You have done six other surgeries. This is the seventh knee you have done on my father. Do you think you are as precise as you are when you were doing the first? Yes, I was. My adrenaline keeps pumping once I'm into the theater. And uh, I, I do surgeries and I'm 100% concentrating. But if there is even a 1% lag, that lag is going to be this robot. It's just like how my wife, just like how Gigi sir said, uh, his wife is standing behind him. My wife will be standing behind me, kicking my butt if I have, uh, if I don't do anything as precisely as I promised to. So uh, this this robot is going to stand behind me and give a kick in my butt and saying that that one two degrees here there the error is going to be corrected. So this is the latest latest and. Uh, the advantages are, are numerous. They are very, very precise. They are very accurate, less invasive. So uh, initially, when we were doing the conventional uh, knee replacement, we put in a metal rod into the thigh bone. The thigh bone can be curved. You know, We don't have a leg straight. It can be curved. The, feet, the distal end of femur is so variable, so variable. When I'm operating a bilateral knee, I can put a size 4 on one side and go with a size 5 on the other. So it is not that this one patient will have both their, both their knees you know, equal and same size. The deformities would vary, the sizes vary, so we have to be precise in each and every knee that we operate. So that, that precision is going to be given by this robot. So it is going to be less invasive, less amount of blood loss, less tissue damage. What does this all mean to the patient? Okay, how is the patient going to be benefited? The patient is going to have less blood loss, less pain. So the recovery is going to be much, much faster. So they're going to get up, start walking, and if we give them a couple of days of rest, if we do a conventional one, the, the, the duration of rest here is going to be just a few hours. So we, will, we may be able to, but I haven't yet started uh, using it, so it is just getting launched. Maybe I'll be able to make my patients walk the same day and uh, you know get them, get them up and out of the hospital. Thereby, as uh, Miles sir said, technology is going to be ge getting a little expensive. We will reduce the duration of the stay, of the ho stay in the hospital, and we will improve on the, the quality that we are giving, thereby compensating with the pricing as well. And it is uh, customized to each individual knee. 
as I was telling, each knee will vary. So this is going to give me a three-dimensional image of that particular knee and where I'm going to place the prosthesis depending upon all the pa other parameters that I'm going to feed into the computer. It has, got a, it has got a lovely camera with infrared rays and it has got a robotic arm. As soon as I tell them that, yes, this is the size of the femur, this is how I want it placed, this is the kind of rotation, the arm, robotic arm comes in, I hold the robot. It is not like I sit in a console and I operate. No, here I hold the robot. I hold the robotic arm and let it cut. So if there is anything which I feel is, is not going according to plan, I still have the opportunity to correct it then and there. So I, it is, the robot is going to assist the surgeon and it is not going to take over everything from the surgeon. It is going to tell me what I'm doing is right or wrong and if, if any correction needs to be done to the degree, it is going to be that, that very, very precise and helpful. So uh, thank you all once again for uh, giving me the opportunity and for letting me speak uh, on behalf of the Department of Orthopedics of Prashant Hospital. And uh, thank you once again, sir, madam, and uh, the Dream family for providing us. And thank you, Miles, sir, for uh, gracing the occasion. Thanks a lot.